So as you can imagine, the Olympic um, tryout process is pretty intense. Uh, Hockey Canada said they would be selecting a group of 28 girls to be part of the training program. 20 girls made the final roster to go to the Olympics. So I was busy working on my fitness, my training, and then, and then Hockey Canada came out and they made a second announcement. They said 20 of those 28 spots for the training group were already taken. So I thought that's a touch unfortunate is what I thought when I heard that news, but there were still eight spots left. So 20 uh, spots were given to the girls that went to the world championships, which was fair. So eight spots left, I went to an evaluation camp, got a call a few weeks later, and I was told that I would be one of the final players that made this training group. So I was excited, but I also knew that that was one step. And my ultimate goal was to make that Olympic team, the final roster of 20 players. And for us, it's a pretty intense process, physically, emotionally, very demanding, and the coaches could make releases at any point. So any month, any week, any day, they could call players in the office and release them from the program. So we had no idea when those decisions would be made, but it also taught us about focusing on the things that we could control. So every practice, every game, every training uh, session that we had, there was always a group of evaluators, with their little notepads taking notes, but for us, it was focusing on bringing our best every single day, focusing on our performance, the things that we could control. And one coach that I had said, you know what, we should just focus on what's inside the glass. So again, not worrying about those external factors, but focusing on how we can respond and bring our best every single day. I also said I wanted to be a great teammate. So if I was on the ice, in the locker room, I wanted to make sure that others were better because I was there. And I made it through the first few releases and there was this one day in December that I remember very clearly. And they told us that they would be naming the final Olympic team. So I woke up that morning, and if you can think of a time if you've been a little nervous or excited, had a little, little case of the butterflies in your stomach. And I woke up that morning knowing I was about to find out. So I went to the Hockey Canada office, and I sat in a little waiting chair, and there were two huge doors and there was a sign above the doors that said boardroom. And there was a secretary there, and uh, the whole scene was a little bit like the show The Apprentice, as any, if anyone's seen the, the end of The Apprentice. And I was sitting there, finally the secretary said, Jen, it's your turn to go in. So I stood up from my chair, took a deep breath, and I thought I'm about to find out. So I took a few steps forward, and I opened these two huge boardroom doors. So I opened the doors, False alarm, there was another set of huge boardroom doors. <laughs> so I wasn't there yet, but I, I took a few more steps forward and I opened the second set of doors. Opened the second set of doors. Far into the room were the, the three coaches. Head coach was in the middle. She just smiled and she held out her hand and she said, congratulations. I'm a little emotional. Uh, there may have been a few tears, but it was all very structured at the Hockey Canada office, and they said that we could make one phone call before we left that boardroom. And I was 18 years old at the time when I was told I would be going to my first Olympic Games, and the first moment that I thought about, as soon as I heard the good news, the first moment I thought about was that lunch that I had with my dad when I was 15. That's when he said, he said, why not you? You know, and that was it. That was the shift in my perspective, saying, well, why not? You know, and that's something that hopefully in all of your busy lives, you take a little bit of time to reflect and say, well, what is my next standard? What's my new goal? And maybe it can be just a little bit higher than you initially think possible. And it's taking that approach of saying, well, why not? Why not have your personal best this year? You know, why not bring out the best in the people around you, your companies, your clients? your interactions. Just set that standard even a little bit higher than you think possible.